Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, round one of the Angela and Apocalypse Arena is over. And of course, I didn't go for any of them. I already have them. Um, I also have a six star Angela, so did not need to pick up the five star. But we'll take a look at the leaderboards and we'll see if we recognize any names, give any shout outs, if my poor old mind can remember uh names and and recognize them as they scroll by uh today has been a pretty busy day um not you know nothing really bad but uh it's been uh, a little hectic but we'll get to it you'll notice that i have not touched any of the arenas it's uh 9 30 at night and i haven't touched any arenas uh, i'm probably not going to touch the uh, sunday arena uh, 1,000 five-star shards just doesn't seem uh, worth it. And uh, I would prefer to just have a break. Um, I will be going for that T4 basic. Always need T4 basics. All right. So let's go ahead over to the uh, completed arenas. And I just went for milestones. Uh, <laughs> I'm not surprised that I got the three-star because I accidentally went a little bit higher than I wanted. I was distracted and did like a few rounds over the uh, milestones without realizing it. All right, so let's just go from left to right. Uh, this is the basic champion. Uh, so it's percentage based. Uh, I think thousands of people uh, will pick up this champion. All right, <laughs> the top three, very interesting names. Hmm. Vinny001. Vinny 002, Vinny 003. Now, I know a lot of people uh, will say, well, that's automatically bots because of the names. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it could just be alt accounts. I don't know. But to put up that much of a score uh, with all of your alts, well, anyway, uh, I leave that to Kabam. Uh, to do some investigations if they want to. All right, let's uh, keep going down here. Now, of the four stars that have been out recently, this is one that you guys want. If you do not have a four-star apocalypse, get your four-star apocalypse, unless you have the five or the six-star. But if you don't have the five and the six-star, definitely pick up the four star, it is worth it. Uh, just for the ability to make horsemen. You may not use him in content, although he is really good. But you know, the four star, you're not going to be able to bring, uh, first of all, into some of the uh, end game content, but he is valuable just for the horseman ability. So if I didn't already have him, I would have absolutely grabbed him. Uh, but I was fortunate enough in a crystal opening to uh, pull him. But if I get the six star, I will not mind that. And I'll take the six star right up. Um, won't, won't even be a question. He is a uh, rank three worthy. His awakened ability, it doesn't really matter. But if you do have him awaken, maybe you'll save some potions here and there. But he is a beast. I'm using my five star not just for the horseman ability, but in AQ, uh, I have to fight this daredevil Hell's Kitchen. And if you know about him, you know he shrugs off your stuns. Uh, he likes to shrug off or purify, you know, damage over time. But he can't do that with um, Apocalypse. So when I go in to fight him with Apocalypse, I just fight normally. You know, I don't have to worry about it. I can parry him and not worry about him shrugging it off and wrecking me. So he's definitely useful. Uh, also... Uh, I use him in the event quest uh, primarily to make a horseman out of Wolverine 
uh, for the uh, mutant chapter and just wreck. But uh, if you watched me during the uh, boss rush, uh, this uh, latest one, um, was it boss rush or uh, I guess International Women's Day boss rush challenge? He and Archangel were really all you needed. Between those two, and Archangel didn't need to be made into a horseman, uh, but those two could do all of the different fights. So he is definitely worth it, even as a four star. So if you didn't go for him this round, go for him next round. Um, he's worth it unless you already have him. All right, we're going to skip right on over that three star. All right, so I got the 5,000 five star shards. Uh, all good. So let's go ahead into the four star featured and see if we recognize any names. And there we go, cookie versus, uh, uh, version 6.0, version 3.0, version 4.0. Hey, there's another one, version 5.0. I'm not accusing anyone. I don't know. I leave that all to Kabam. But I will tell you this, I've seen them quite often, and I know they've been reported to Kabam, and Kabam investigated, and they're still there. So, you know, regardless of what it looks like to us, uh, it may be legit. Now, I'll tell you something, and this is something that Kabam can't really detect, nor should they. But this happened. Uh, Great Wolf, congratulations, man. Uh, this happened in several games that I've played over the years, um, especially MMOs where you have to farm a lot. What they would do is, you know, you have these young kids, they're playing in a dorm. And what they would do is they would share the account, but it was the same device. See, that's something that you really can't uh, detect, and nor should you. So when one person, you know, had a lot of time, they would get on and they would grind. Then when they were, you know, going to sleep or whatever, give it to their friend who would grind on their account for them. So having other people grind on your account using your device can't really, you know, detect that. So there's many ways that it's possible that Kabam has looked it over and said, no, they don't detect any bots or anything like that. But, you know, that type of thing. Or the person may just not get a lot of sleep. I I don't know. Uh, as much as I grind the arena, I don't go that hard. I just do not. Nor do I have any desire to. One account, that's enough for me. All right. So in this arena, the top 800 get the champion. And uh, Angela even as a four star, is actually pretty useful. Uh, you can sig her up. So she will be more useful than an unsigged five star or a six star uh, in some situations. But she's not by any means a horrible champion, not awakened. But yeah, when she's awakened... And then Odin is coming to the contest soon. And Odin and Angela are a pair that a lot of people are talking about. A lot of people are going for Odin because of his pre-fight ability and his uh, synergy with Angela in particular. All right, let's go. Black Gamer, congratulations, man. Rank three, awesome, man. All right, let's see if we... Uh, recognize any other names. Now, in this arena, the top 300 get the champion. Um, so we will see 200. We will not see 100 people who got this champion. So if you are one of those, definitely leave a comment. This is round one, so it's really useful for people to know 
you know, what scores are getting the champion, what scores are missing the champion. <laughs> I like that name. Hungry! With an exclamation point at the end. Okay. All right. So, yeah, there goes those cookies, man. I, oof. yeah. I, I know for a single person to do a lot of that is not worth it for me. Um, but I do remember uh, just a quick story. Uh, we were playing um, World of Warcraft, which is a MMO, if you're unfamiliar with it. Um, this was some years ago. I played that game for seven years. And there was this guy who seemed to be on like all the time. You know, maybe not 24-7, but near all the time. And we were like, man, don't you even sleep and blah, blah, blah. And uh, some people were, you know, doing the usual, you know, no life, you know, accusing him of having no life and all this stuff. Um, and honestly, he took it. But later, um, you know, in some, you know, conversations, uh, I found out something. He was sick. He was really sick. And in fact, the doctor told him to take up a hobby, maybe play a game. Uh, I forget what it was he had, but it was a degenerative uh, type of a disease that affected his muscles and things like that um, and his nervous system. Um, so what he did was he played World of Warcraft, not for purely recreational purposes like a lot of us were doing, but for therapy and to keep himself from degenerating even faster. And when I found that out, I was like, man, you know, you need to tell some of them so that, you know, they can be shamed for, you know, saying that, but he, he wouldn't do it. Um, so, uh, but that experience uh, made me very, very uh, wary of, you know, analyzing someone that I, you know, don't know, and I only see uh, on the game here, you know, unless I talk to them, you know, I can analyze their, you know, behavior, their, you know, speech, all that. But um, you always have to remember that you really don't know these people. Um, but that's going to do it, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Take care and you all. Have a blessed day.